You know life is tough and it's got you standing. At the edge, looking down at the water below. Wondering what there is for you under the water. Or if your body can stand the impact and the blow. <laughs> The world's ways of corruption and relationships are cheating. If you're not careful, it can knock you out in a flash. <laughs> so whatever you need to do, do it quickly with no regret. After saying these words, he walked away and he heard a splash. Some months before, they were headed up to Oregon on a road trip with a friend and a girl. The other two thought it was to have a good time. Well, they had some problems to unfurl. The girl thought she knew who she was. Well, the friend didn't and didn't care. And they knew the darkness that was winning. The bumps on their brain were showing the wear and tear. Maybe you can call it a bad omen in some way, but one of the trucks in front of them was shedding a tire. It tried to get over to the side, but was throwing rubber in every direction like a spin dryer. The friend tried to swerve to miss the pieces, but it was getting stuck in the grill. Which shook all of them as they made for the shoulder. They felt lucky they hadn't taken a spill. The car was running hot and wouldn't last long, but now they were stuck in the desert. With the nearest towns keeping each other at arm's length. All around, they only saw mountains of dirt. An old man stopped to help them and shuffled so slowly that they wondered at what would be his ability. But he crawled under the car and ratcheted some things and demonstrated he wasn't all fragility. He told him they would have to take it to his shop. And the friend was a little worried about being ripped off. But the mechanic brought it in and told stories of the days before the town was subject to layoffs. Half the country is growing rather uncontrollably, while the other half shrinks and dies. It used to be a little different, but also the same. And for every problem solved, you have more rise. When they got back on the road, they discussed the man and how it could have been a lot worse. Someone might say they should feel thankful and blessed. The friend started singing a verse. From a song that they all knew and had sung together. And late night campfires with a little grass and beer. But there was something a little different when they joined in. Like there was some sorrow or pain to get out. Something that couldn't be communicated with a mandolin. and boring sometimes. So the friend asked the others what was the meaning of life. 
The girl said that she thought the answer was simple. So work hard, eat well, and avoid all strife. <laughs> they with this simply could not agree. You have to chase it down before it eludes you. <laughs> if you don't find it, you'll feel the emptiness. And when you do it, it never fails to cut through. <laughs> found a place to stay in Elk Mountain. The old lady said people like you don't come this way. <laughs> At first they were a little offended, but he didn't want to make a scene in this cafe. <laughs> the lady said if you're going up there, you'll only find a collection of losers and cheaters. <laughs> My cousin went up there to find a job and only got involved in dope and became one of them streeters. <laughs> when they stopped in Jerome to get gas, they all wondered how their lives could have passed. <laughs> if they were stuck in a place like this, where everyone had the default look of a downcast. <laughs> They mused that it wasn't that different from their old home back to the southeast. <laughs> where the world hadn't yet dragged them to where the people didn't feel the need to be police. <laughs> this is when they decided they needed to come clean. They made sure the friend and the girl listened intently. <laughs> There's another reason than fun we're going there. And I really don't know how I can say this gently. I've been through too much of it lately. Everything is split and broken into pieces. So I think it's best for me to meet my end. And i found a place that does legal releases. not understand, and after losing the argument, left them for abandon. <laughs> so alone, they walked into the place from the goal, and they told them just where to stand in. <laughs> but when they looked at their application, to qualify for end of life, you don't, we're sorry to convey. <laughs> so they asked, where's the nearest bridge? And they told them, you might try Broadway. <laughs> <laughs>